Well, hello YouTube and a warm welcome to the Essentially Crypto channel. My name is Ian and as always, I'm your host. And today we're not going to talk about crypto at all. In fact, today is about audio. Now, I've had a lot of issues with my audio not syncing up and all that kind of thing. I did a lot of research into it on the internet and I finally found what I think is a solution, which hopefully is going to be a solution for you as well, because I've had a lot of people dropping it into my inbox and telling me they've had the same issues with audio and they couldn't figure it out. So therefore, hopefully this is going to help some of you out there. I'm going to show you in this video a temporary solution and also a permanent solution. So if you are using like VLC to watch something, then I'm going to show you how you can sync up that audio so that, that way it will sync up. And then if you want to save that thing, which in my case, obviously I have to because I'm putting these on the video, then you can also use this next program to actually save it so the audio syncs up perfectly and you have your match. And that is something that seems to be missing from a lot of the tutorials on the internet and that is how to save it once you've synced it because obviously not everyone just wants a temporary solution now why would you want this well first of all obviously if you're making videos and you have an issue obs some of the time depending on what you're doing on your computer at the time or whatever if you've got a separate audio like a microphone here and you've got your camera up there uh, sometimes it goes out of sync now that's fine if you're recording with your camera and you've got the waveform you can match them up but if you haven't it's a pain in the backside believe me but i think i've got this solution for you so let's run through it very quickly so we'll start off with the temporary solution which leads us into the permanent solution as well because you need both of them so first off you can see here this is a video that i recorded earlier today now if i just put it back to the beginning now, I'm not sure if you can tell from that little intro very quickly, but you can see that it's just slightly out of sync, okay? So what I would do here is I would watch that video and then I would use the J and the K on my keyboard. This is the keyboard shortcuts that I use, okay? Now, if, if the video, um, I need to add or take away some of this video, uh, the seconds, the audio, then I would use the J. And if I want to add some, some delay to it, then I would use the, um, the K. Now, I can't remember which way around each one goes and all that kind of thing. So just trust me, the best way to do this is to simply start watching your video and start fiddling around with the J and the K. And after just a couple of seconds, you'll start to realize which way it goes. So in my case, if I put it on now, so let me put it on. So I can see 50, so it's not quite there. I would say that's probably about it there. So therefore, that means that now, if I if I just hit it one more time, you can see, whoops, I hit the wrong one there, J and the K, there we go. It was on 100, so I've got the audio delay of 100. Now, yours might be longer, it might be less, it's up to you to decide and just do it by eye, and you can really work it out by eye fairly quickly, okay? So use the J and the K on your keyboard, but this is only a temporary solution. It doesn't help you much if you want to save the video. So now let's move over to this program here, which I found, which is called, well, I'm not quite sure what it's called really, but I think it's Avidemux. So it's A-V-I-D-E-M-U-X. You can find this by searching on Google. I'll also leave a link in the comments below where I got my version of it. Um, I'm not sure if the original site is still up now, but they do have uh, on Softpedia or uh, Softonic or one of those things, you know, where you can download things that are a thing. Now I believe it's completely free. I haven't had to pay anything or anything to use it so as, as as of now as the time of doing this video it is completely free to use so what you do is you basically go up to here and you go to uh, open and then when you open you will choose your video so in this case I've already loaded it up just to make sure for quickness and you can see it just here now over here you have got a configure not sure what that does I didn't need any of that sort of stuff you've got video output you want to keep that as copy because you want to copy the exact video output you're not worried about that the audio you want to change that now I change it I personally change it to mp3 lame I don't see how lame it is but anyway uh, there's obviously a reason it's called that MP I don't know much about audio but I know this works so mp3 lame is what you have to choose or you can choose one of the others maybe I don't know it may work I just use mp3 because I know of it and then there's a little button there that says shift it's a little square if you push that button then that means that it's now going to put whatever you put in this box into your audio so in this case remember from VLC before I calculated that it was a hundred that I needed extra on top of it so not minus if it's minus obviously then you'd have to put the uh, the minus and you can do that by using this downward button here look and when it gets to zero uh, let me just put it on zero so you can see when it gets to zero you can go minus as well so you can put your minus and then 100 if it's minus 100 in my case I need 100 so I do that uh, and that's it basically. If you want to check it lines up, you can hit the play button. Hello YouTube, my name is Ian from Essential Crypto and I like to do weekly content and... 
So there you go, so now you can see it lines up perfectly. And then to save it is really simple. All you need to do is go up to the top as you would any other program. You click on there and you click save, simple as that. So now you've got it all ready to go. You just have to click save, choose where you want it. Uh, oh, incidentally, this is a, uh, a thing, do you remember? Uh, you can see there it says MKV. Now, personally, I don't like it in MKV format. If you've got something that uh, supports that, then you're fine with that. But if not, come to the output format just here. Click on that and change it to MP4 or whatever other format you want it to be in. Then just simply go over to the top, click save again, and then you are good to go. Once you hit the save, so let me change it to one, two, three, four, because I've already done it as one, two, three. Uh, there we go, one, two, three, four. And then you hit save, and as you can see, it's gonna run through the process and it's gonna re-encode the audio onto that video. Now, this is only a 15 second video, so it's not gonna take too long at all. In fact, it's done now. Uh, but you can see how quick it is. It really doesn't take that much time whatsoever. And now if you go back to look on that video, you'll see that it's saved with the audio in perfect sync. So there you go. That's how I sync my video and audio. Don't look at all the other videos on the YouTube channel for that sort of thing because some of them are out of sync because that was before I found this process. But now I have. I thought I'd put it out there for people to know about. Let me know if it works for you in the comments below um, because I know a lot of people have been having problems with this on the internet, even just for watching streaming, you know, movies or whatever. Uh, maybe they downloaded them from Netflix onto their account and then they, uh, when they go to watch it, it's completely out of sync and they want to be able to save it for later. So therefore, this is your solution. And I hope it works for you. Thanks very much and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.